got a feeling this is gonna be a mess, but anyway. So yeah, I'm in the gym and I am hoping to do well and be successful. Now I know it's 80% diet, 20% gym, and right now I I feel like my body weight is rising like yeast. I don't know what's I do and I don't know what's going on. It's like once I start on that steady track of gaining weight, it's like boom, 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 boom. Like how big can we get and how fast can we do it? I don't know what it is. Um, but I'm gonna try to get a handle on it. So this morning I had unfortunately I saw the animal crackers before I walked out the door. So I had a small container of animal crackers. That was breakfast on the way to the gym. And I'm being transparent, so it's okay. I may share that with you before I share body pictures and actual weight numbers. So, you guys feel free to tell me, don't eat that, eat that, good job, not good job. Don't judge. Because of losing weight and maintaining weight was easy, we wouldn't have the epidemic of obesity in the, in the United States that we have here today. So, um, I got back in the car, packed me a little bag, so I had strawberries, and I may have had about eight or ten strawberries, so fresh strawberries, so I ate those, and I've not finished my 20 ounce water, it's about half, so I will finish that, and that's all I've had today. I got to the gym at 10, I did an hour on the treadmill, and I did 30 minutes on um, the little weight machines, which I like. So I've left my gloves, so that made it a little bit. Anytime I'm not, my the things that I set to be functional, if they don't, if I, if I fall short, I have a tough time moving forward. So that's a pet peeve that needs to be corrected. So I, I forgot my hand gloves. So therefore, when I got on one of the hand machines and realized, because I get calluses real easy, so once I realized I didn't have it, all of a sudden I didn't want to do the machines. So I did push through a little bit, and I, I did about four reps of that. I can't tell you the name of the machine. Uh, I think it was the row, but I, anyway, I did about four reps of 12 on that. And then I did about four reps of 12 on the pull, and then I did the one where you lean forward and it works your back muscles in the top of your butt so I did those three machines for 30 minutes total and so that gives me an hour and a half in the gym which I'm very proud of myself on Saturday morning my plan was to be there at 8 but um, started looking up some other things and then a couple of YouTube videos and I don't have to tell you how that goes so I think now I'm going home and I've told my daughter that I keep the kiddos today so uh, another thing that I've done since I've originally started YouTube, I am a property investor. So I think I'm going to do some driving for cash today because I'm ready to get my feet wet. And maybe I'll share a video on that first experience. Thus far, I've only bought one, bought and sold one house, uh, which was an ordeal, but it was a learning experience and I'm glad I did it. And I can't wait to do it again. Also, I have renovated a friend's house, so my skill set has gotten better. I have taken out a wall. I have totally gutted a kitchen down to the studs. I've closed in a back door, helped build a wood countertop. Um, I feel pretty good about myself, so I did good on that. So I feel like I've got you know more skill set in the DIY area so I'm kind of excited I have right now I have two letters of intent out and I've not heard from the two people that I um, sent the letters to and I'm learning about the yellow letter so I think I may do that next because I, one of the houses I really do want it's a four-sided brick and it's been burned and I know it's a good job um, but I've already kind of got my thinking cap on to ask as to what I would do uh, in renovating that house. So that I've been up to as well in my absence. And so I wanna get back into that. And I'm seriously considering um, getting my real estate license. And I've just gotta stop thinking about it and actually pull the trigger and do it. So there's that. And then um, I'm sure as I 
get back into making my videos I will be able to give you a little bit more insight as to what I've been up to and what's going on and the the, the I've been a property investor now for three years I started that business in 2015 I got my paperwork done bought my licenses got my LLC the end of 2014 so that I could hit the ground running in 2015 so that has been um, an exciting thing as well as a learning curve um, a big learning curve and I still have a lot more to learn and for those of you before you even ask getting your LLC it's not difficult I did it myself so um, just have your little money ready and have your time because there's a lot of reading but you know Google is a good thing so I did do that myself filed the paperwork for probate and everything on my own so yeah um, pat on the back I feel good about that and what else have I had going on that I can just blurt out right quick because I'm, I'm, I'm literally just checking in and checking up and blurting things out um, I'm a little bit of an interior designer as well and this channel has been it started out with hair and just me being me and I think I can still do that um, because I am I, I, I do a little bit of everything. I like everything. Oh, yeah. I, um, the first of this year, end of last first of this year, my plans were, I am also the fruits of her hands. I think I mentioned that in some earlier videos. And that will never go away. That will never die because I am the fruits of her hands. And so with that, I decided, you know, to try and put those talents and gifts that are naturally a part of us that God puts in us to work and for me that would be organizing so I started an organ I, well I started an organizing business um, professional organizing and design because I've got a little bit of interior design skill under my belt as well because I needed that when I remodeled my friend's kitchen so We've had some things, like I said, some health things going on. So that took an immediate backstage. And now I'm back to thinking residual income. So I'm looking at, I've got to get some property. So I'm trying not to be all over the place, but these are the things that have been and are on the table. I'm just putting them in, per, in perspective right now. So right now, the fruits of her hands, the professional organizing design is on hold, but it's not being ignored because if I come upon a situation or if I get a client, it's going to happen. I've actually even thought about another way that I can still put it out there even without a client where I can help people that I may not even meet. And we'll talk about that another time. So for right now, I think we're going to do some driving for cash today. Today is Saturday. Uh, July 21st so yeah I think we're gonna do some driving for cash today and that's really about it those are the big things I may or may not get into too much of the personal stuff um, way down the road we'll talk about some food prepping for various reasons and go from there I've been grinding my own meat uh, I've been making bread and I've been making bread now for mm, two years and I started grinding meat a year ago and when I say grinding meat I'm saying the girl I started out just grinding chicken breast now I am buying the entire turkey deboning it skinning it and grinding it and making my own turkey whatever I have made um, homemade pork sausage I have made homemade turkey sausage I've made homemade chicken sausage I mean I am the bomb diggity just miss domestic I just got to get it all in one place that's why I am the fruits of her hands because any of those things anything that's born anything that that is part of me is gonna come out of the fruits of her hands because that's that is who I am so uh, enough of my rambling um, it's nice talking to you guys again I hope that you stay with me I hope that you turn on that notification bell so it'll let you know when I post a video 
I will let you know what my plans are in regards to videos as I get back into the swing of videos. I also um, thank you again, new subscribers. Thank you again for the old subscribers that stay with me. I don't have a lot, but I'm sure as I get this going, um, those numbers will increase. YouTube, I think, can be therapeutic. Um, not only for the person making the videos, but also for the people who watch the videos. Uh, I myself have gained a lot of help for various for various things via YouTube. So, uh, where I know it won't last forever, it is definitely a value right now. So, with that said, this was a short video. Short video and